Sixers go down battling against Clippers. Los Angeles, on the surface, it was just another loss for the 76ers. This time, the Los Angeles Clippers defeated them, 112-100, on Saturday afternoon at the Staples Center. But the Sixers showed a lot of fight while having a heavily favored team on the ropes for the second straight game. This time, the Clippers needed a late 7-0 run to avoid losing to the team with the league's fourth worst record. The loss dropped the Sixers to 23-42 and extended their losing streak to four games. It was also their seventh loss in their last eight games. Clippers point guard Chris Paul led all scorers with 30 points on 11 for 16 shooting. He made all four of his three-point attempts and had seven assists to go with three rebounds. All-star center DeAndre Jordan finished with 19 points and 20 rebounds. Blake Griffin, 15 points, 10 rebounds, J.J. Redick, 12 points, and Maurice Spates, 11 points, were the Clippers' other double-digit scorers. Rick on Holmes paced the Sixers with a career-high 24 points in a reserve role. Darius Eric added 16 points to extend his streak of games with 10 or more points to 15. TJ McConnell added 9 points and 10 assists. Holmes pulled the Sixers within 1 point, 93-92, on a pair of foul shots with 5 minutes, 13 seconds remaining. The Clippers then went on the decisive 7-0 run. Reddick scored on a jumper and Paul added a footer on consecutive possessions to give the Clippers an 97-92 lead. They went up by 7 points on Jamal Crawford's foul shots with 3.39 to play. Jordan added a foul shot at the 3.16 mark to give them an 8-point cushion at 192. Timoth Luwa Ikebarid started as shooting guard for the Sixers in place of Gerald Henderson. This was the sixth game the eighth-year veteran missed because of left hip soreness. Henderson is expected to play Sunday against the Los Angeles Lakers. Henderson initially had surgery to repair a torn labrum in the hip in May 2011 while with the Charlotte Bobcats. His second surgery in July 2015 was debridement arthroscopy surgery. You have a couple of surgeries, man, your hip is going to be sore, Henderson said. It's just like a guy with knee surgery or whatever it may be. An 82-game schedule is a tough thing. So for the rest of my career, I may not be an 82-game guy. Most guys aren't. He said that his hip feels the best that it has all season. His goal is to find a way to strengthen and gain mobility in his hip during the offseason. Until then, he'll be unable to play in every game the rest of the season based on the schedule. So I think it's just something I have to just manage, he said. Sixers reserve power forward Justin Harper's tenure with the Sixers could end after Sunday night's game. Sunday is the 10th and final day of the contract he signed with the team March 3. The team could opt to sign him to a second 10-day deal on Monday. I try not to focus on that, he said of getting extended. I try not to count the days, just make the days count and keep working. It will all work out for the best in the end. Whenever I get an opportunity, just go out there and make the most of it. Harper did not see action Saturday or in Thursday's loss to the Portland Trail Blazers. He averaged 4.0 points and 2.0 rebounds and 10.4 minutes in three games. 